make sure that they're hearing this at the top of the building. Two, four, six, eight. Hydro justice cannot wait. About 100 people rallied outside the downtown Hydro building before marching down Portage to Thunderbird House, protesting a proposed 7.9% hydro rate hike. That's not treating a lot of people fairly. That's going to hurt a lot of people, and there's a lot of research behind that. We as Manitobans need to step up, take responsibility for our utility, but also make the people who are running it accountable, because that is not the case right now. No justice! No peace! There are environmentalists here and people who have been displaced by hydro projects here organized by the Manitoba Energy Justice Coalition and Waniskatan, an alliance of impacted communities. They want the Crown Corporation to stop development of a new pipeline. Hydro isn't going to stop. They're, they're only going to want to increase uh, the potential to create more hydroelectric power without, you know, realizing the huge impact that it has on our, on our communities. Uh, but Hydro says it is compensating people fairly now. It has expanded the Northern Flood Agreement signed in 1977 to address impacts from past hydroelectric projects. Hydro said in an email that it has spent more than $60 million since 1977 to help impacted communities. Hydro also refused to comment on the resignation of their board. Manitoba Hydro declined an interview for this story, but an employee told us there's a four to five step process including building rec centers and sponsoring after school events before they moved to financial compensation. Until the 70s, Manitoba Hydro would build these projects and then do what the damage is afterwards, which made these communities feel helpless and not cared for. Now, Hydro knows it can't fix the problems from past projects, but it can build a trusting relationship with communities on the waterway. The employee also told us that every community impacted holds a vote after meetings with community leaders and years of consultation, and only the vote will decide if the project moves forward.